Let's imagine you have a HTTP server running inside Gitpod, but you are unable to access its preview through the exposed port. In this screencast, I'll walk you through the solution for this. Here's a repository of mine, and in it, I have a simple Python module that implements a web server and serves take start over the HTTPS protocol. I also have a Gitpod ML file configured. It installs the Python dependencies and then runs the module. If you're not sure what a Gitpod ML file is, we have another video explaining that. Link will be in the description. Now that's enough context. I'll simply create a Gitpod workspace by clicking on this Gitpod button. And by the way, if you don't have this button, search for Gitpod browser extension to install it. The workspace started and Gitpod automatically executed my Gitpod ML tax commands to start the web server. The web server is running on port 8080 and it uses HTTPS. But if I check the ports tab, we can see that Gitpod assumes this to be HTTP. Now if I try to access it through my browser, I'll get such an error that says port not found. As I said earlier, Gitpod by default assumes this to be HTTP, but it's not. And so the connection forwarding does not work on this exposed port. So I need to tell Gitpod that my web server can only be accessed through HTTPS. There are two ways to do that. Well, actually three. The first one is from the IDE UI. In my case, it's VS Code. So in my ports tab, I can right click on my web server port and select HTTPS protocol. I'll try to access the port again. And there you go. It finally works. The next method is to use the GP ports command like so. And it will do the same thing, but from the CLI. Both of the methods I showed are short-lived solutions. So coming to the third method, which is more permanent. This is what you'll ideally want to use. For this, we need to open our Gitpod ML file and specify how our web server port should be set up every time a Gitpod workspace is created. So in the Gitpod ML file, we start with the ports key. We can optionally specify a name. I'll call it frontend. Then we specify the port we want to configure. In my case, it's port 8080 for my HTTPS web server. And finally, we tell Gitpod to address this port as HTTPS. That's all we need to put in our Gitpod ML. Let's push our Gitpod ML file changes to our repository. Now I can simply close this workspace. I'll create a new workspace from my repository to check if the change is effective. My new workspace is ready. Let's check the ports tab. It looks like it worked. The port was annotated with my specified name and the protocol was also set to HTTPS. I'll open it on my browser to verify. Yep, it seems to work. And that's all I had on this topic. Make sure to check out the video description. I've left a few relevant links that can help. And if you have any questions, feel free to join our community Discord server at gitpod.io/chat. I will see you there.